Good morning, my friends. Sorry, we're a few minutes tardy. We are still, we're trying to get back in the swing of the uh, beautiful online situation with all of you wonderful people. Uh, I am here, Tiffany Montabano. I am here, yay, Alexander. So excited to have Shannon with us again. Love Shannon so much. Um, we are excited that you guys are in visiting with us. Yeah, Miss Shannon is going to tell you guys all about sugaring today. Really excited about it. Um, it the story suits what is happening right now. So uh, I think it's going to be a really great thing for you guys to think of. If you are not already sugaring, that is awesome. Shannon's going to explain all of that for you. Um, if you are sugaring, Shannon can also help you out with that as well. Uh, she is Miss Sugar Mama. This is why she has the cutest nickname ever. Um, Tiffany here again with Alexander's and welcome to you guys. I want to start, I'm not as good at this as Wendy and Wendy is not with us this morning, but I want to start by thanking all of you guys for joining us. So do me a favor, pop in that questions box there and let us know where you guys are all logging in from today. It is Tuesday. Yes. I can't remember what day it is. Uh, it right. is Tuesday morning or mid afternoon now, right? And uh, I want to know where everyone is is logging in from. We love seeing where everyone is joining us. If you have been with us before, welcome back. If you have not been with us, welcome for the first time. We have Colorado Springs. We love Colorado, right? Alexander's, we do have the Colorado location. We've got Nevada jumping in here. Um, I am at the Alexander's here in California. We are right outside of San Francisco. In my hometown, by the Westminster, way. Westminster, Colorado. Yeah. I yeah. went to Burlingame High School. It's from here. No, no. It's still standing there. No one's in it, but the building's there. <laughs> oh. San Diego. Oh, San Diego. I hope you guys are doing okay. Most of California has been on fire. Thankfully, that is being contained now as well. So many things this year, guys. And it's September. Woo! It is September. We have made it to September. So I don't know about Thank anybody you. else, but I am pretty proud of that. <laughs> Miss Judy is from Loveland. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Okay, so this is how we are going to roll this morning. Shannon's going to take over here. I'm going to pop off. I will be jumping back and forth in, so you will definitely see me again. I want you to throw in your questions in that question box whenever you have one. We are going to answer them all at the end. I am going to do my best. I also have Farhana on here, our office manager, helping me, thank God, that is going to make sure that we get all through whatever questions you guys have, because normally, again, if you've normally been with us, Wendy is doing it. She's amazing at it. So. I'm going to try to be slightly Wendy to this morning. I'm going to, I'm going to, you know, work on my inner organization of Wendy. Um, but Those please throw in your spell. questions that you have for us. Yeah, I right. Uh, and I have little tiny feet, so it's going to take me a minute. Um, so yeah, welcome. I'm going to jump off here. I'm going to hand the reins over to Shannon and I will be back. Enjoy everyone. Welcome everyone to the sugaring through the recession. You know, back when I was going through the first one, I never thought that this would be a title of a webinar that I would lead. And I never ever thought that we'd be going through these times again. These are unprecedented times, but I never thought that I would be in a position of, of looking back 11 years and saying, this is my story. Um, I wanna share with you kind of who I am, but how I got here. And so that you can really understand that this is possible for you as well. We're going to dive into a little bit about sugar and what the heck that stuff even is that you see in that in that blue gloved hand. Um, and if you have, are already somebody who knows about sugar, we won't spend too, too long doing the super basics. But we do want to just make sure that you understand the tool that I used, which is just that little ball of lemon sugar and water that that basically got me through it all. So I will start by letting you all know that I haven't always been Shannon the Sugar Mama O'Brien. I was just little old Shannon who started out in aesthetic school. I was in corporate America. I worked for Oracle Corporation. And I just had this Oprah aha moment that 
beauty was what I needed to do. I just knew in my gut. And so I went back to school at a little bit older age. So I was with all the youngsters back at school. I went to school in Vegas, actually, with the showgirls and the Vegas folk. Love me some Vegas. Um, and I got into aesthetics, shoot, it was 20 years ago and really, really loved it. Did facials, uh, wasn't really that good at wax, to be honest. Um, I, I just didn't like hurting anyone. I wasn't very good at Brazilians, um, but I did it. Everybody waxed eyebrows, right? You wax chin hairs, things like that. So that was my story. So I ended up doing the solo route, working out of the back of a salon, all of that. And I had the opportunity to purchase a day spa in Lake Tahoe, California, or just Lake Tahoe. We were like a half a block from the beach and the, and the lake. And so I purchased this day spa and called it Shannon's because I wanted you to feel like you were coming over to see a good friend. And it took off. We were award-winning. Uh, we, we absolutely just had amazing success in Lake Tahoe. I opened a second location that was a little closer to Heavenly Village, if any of you have a skied in Lake Tahoe, and really saw success. I had massage therapists, estheticians. We were waxing. We didn't even know what sugaring was at the time. So um, life happened to me. Um, life happens for you, right? Uh, and my husband and I decided to part ways. We are now awesome friends, so that's a good story. Uh, and he's a big supporter of mine, but we were just better off friends. And I decided to sell my day spa and move down the hill to Folsom, which is just outside of Sacramento. I had two small kids. I needed a more of a, um, not a mountain town, but more of a community that I could raise them in. So I get down there and I realize, oh boy, I've got to build my business. So I start with this little tiny room. I meet people on the you know little league field and the soccer field and and I'm not shy as some of you have known that you if you've seen me ever speak before I'm not shy at all and you'll get that here so please make sure you're asking questions because I'm ready for the firing line at the end um but I really started over again and I had to figure out how I was going to rebuild myself and rebrand myself because I was known as Shannon of Shannon's that did facials and massage and all of that in this beautiful tourist town. And now I was down in suburbia and had to figure out who I was and how I was gonna make this happen. So here I am, I've got two small boys. I have just started this little place and the recession hits. This was about what, 2009. So that recession hit I got sucker punched because I'm not a news watcher. I didn't understand real estate. I didn't understand why this was happening, but it happened and it happened hard. And what was interesting about that time is people like lost their homes, lost their jobs. I mean, lost all of their money. So what was happening is people were taking facials out of the budget. And the few people that I did have that were getting facials said, oh God, Shannon, I would love to support you. I just don't have it in the budget or my husband took it out of our budget or I, there is no budget. I have, I, have, I have nothing. So my heart is breaking for them. You know, I'm sure I did a few free services back in the day just to show the love. But I remember laying in my bed, I'd put my children down, my two boys down and I would lay and stare at the ceiling and say, God, how, how do I do this? How do I do this? And I applied to Whole Foods. Funny story, I have actually applied to Whole Foods. They were just opening here in town in their beauty department. And I didn't even get an interview, <laughs> which I guess now is part of the story in good history. But at the time I was crushed. What do you mean I can't manage a beauty department? That's what I do. Um, but here nor there, I, I applied to jobs like that because I just didn't know if I could support myself as a solo practitioner and the, the market was crashing, people were losing everything. So I, I applied to those jobs and actually went to church one Sunday and I sat in church with my hat down and um, life was happening to me at the same time that this happened. My dog died, my sweet yogi. Let me go through these. I think I'm uh, getting ahead of myself here. My sweet yogi passed away. Um, he was my, my little hero. And my, my dad died. He was my hero. Um, the recession had hit. My children needed a mom that was strong. And 
I didn't know what I was going to do. So I actually, I think actually this is how I got started. Look at that beautiful sugar dripping there. Um, and so I, I had to figure out something to set myself apart because I knew that if my clients couldn't do facials, I had to figure out what they could do. And I knew that they would at least let me wax their brows, that it would at least let me wax their bikini because it was a lower end service that they could really kind of still afford. And they felt like they were helping me too, because they felt bad for me as well. So I had heard about sugaring. I had actually gotten sugared. Uh, a friend of mine at a happy hour was like, I'm going to get sugared. And I didn't even know what that was. So I went in and got sugared and realized this is a game changer. That little dripping ball of lemon sugar and water. I'm a wuss. I'm a big fat chicken. And when I got sugared and it didn't hurt as near as much, it wasn't putting hot resin on the skin. I didn't bump up and get irritated. And I literally jumped off the table and was like, okay, if I can do this, anyone can do this. I need to learn how to do this. So I looked around in my area and there was no training to be found. I finally found a gal that would train me at the place that I actually got sugared. And I, I sucked. I pulled that ball out of the jar. I couldn't get it off for the two days of certification to save my life. I was terrible. And I thought I, this, I guess this isn't going to be it. So I'm sitting in church that day and I looked up and I said, God, seriously, what am I supposed to do? Whole Foods doesn't want me. I, you know, do I go back to corporate America? I really don't want to. What do I do? And all I heard was, you need to be by the table spreading your, I don't know what the word was, but my feeling was passion. And so I hung in there. So I kept practicing and practicing and practicing. And I would practice on my leg while I watched Grey's Anatomy and my kids would watch me like, what are you doing? You know? And I just kept practicing and I brought in models that to this day, we have a laugh about how terrible I was. And I didn't have an online course. I didn't have anything. I just had this little two day class that I took and I felt like I was left behind. But I knew in my gut that this was something that I needed to do. So the quick and fast story is I moved around kind of from spot to spot because places open, places closed, life happens. And so I'd kind of move from room to room. And I finally actually ended up at the location you see on the left. That's actually a remodeled preschool. It was two on the other side of that barn door is where we do the sugaring. And that was a one classroom. And then I cut a hole in between the two rooms. And the side that my beautiful brand is standing on, that's the waiting room and where the camera person is, that's actually now a hair salon. So I went from, wow, how the heck am I gonna do this to owning Sugar Mamas? And I had a staff of eight before COVID, um, hair, nails, the whole thing. And if you would have told me back in the day, back when I worked at Oracle, that I was gonna be called the Sugar Mama, which my clients named me by the way, because I'm a strong mama and you know I sugar. Um, if you would have asked me back in the day if I would be a sugaring professional, A, I didn't even know what that was, and B, I didn't even like doing hoo-hahs. I didn't like doing that. But back in the day in the recession, I realized that I need to figure out how to set myself apart. Sugaring came to me, into my world, and it is the best thing that ever happened to my business. So I want to go through what it is. So for those of you that are like, what is that ball of sugar? Is this new? Um, it is not new. It feels like it's new because it's just really hit in the last few years. But I've been sugaring now for about 11 years and well, since the recession. And it's the best thing I ever did for my business. Now, again, it didn't start just a few years ago, it actually started back, it's an ancient form of hair removal, and it actually started back in, they believe, Egypt and Greece. We know our Cleopatra, she loved her some beauty, and apparently she loved her some sugar as well. And Sugar of the Nile comes from way back in the day. Sugar of the Nile is the company that Alexander's Aesthetics, they are the sugar supplier that Alexander's Aesthetics distributes, and we'll be talking about these products in just a moment. I do love them. Um, but it started back in the day and they apparently love to be smooth and lemon, sugar, and water. That's all it is. It's condensed down into a paste. 
and it's just amazing. It's so pure. You can eat it again. It's just lemon sugar and water. That's it. And what happens is the sugar actually just removes dead skin and hair. So the more we use that sugar ball, it starts to change color because it exfoliates the skin and takes off all the dry skin, takes slides out all the hair and really provides a smooth finish. It's economical because all I need is a glove, two gloves actually, uh, but a, two gloves and a ball of sugar paste. That's it. There's no sticks and strips and remover. It's, it's really pretty clean. It's water soluble. So I can actually just wipe it off my sugar pot. If I get some on the mat or on the sugar pot, just wipe it off with water and a washcloth. That's it. It is not tested on animals, thankfully. It is sanitary, which is so huge right now. On a side note, we're recording this. Um, we've been in the COVID various forms of lockdown for the last few months now. And what is critical for you to understand is sugar is sanitary. So obviously that is so important to us right now to make sure that we have the cleanest room possible to, to have the cleanest room for our clients and for ourselves but sugar does not breed bacteria. So that sugar pot is clean all the time. And what I'll tell you is back in the day, the soldiers in the wars, they would bring a bag of sugar with them, run out to the wounded soldier and actually pour sugar in the wound to keep it clean and sterile and help the healing process. So I don't know about you, but I would much rather have products in my treatment room that I know I can keep clean and sugar is definitely one of them. So everybody loves to have a little bit of a visual when they think about what, what the sugar thing is all about. So sugar truly is, and hair removal is like taking carrots out of a garden. That's what that picture is for. So imagine that this carrot, the one in the picture as well, that that's, that orange part is down inside the follicle. Okay, just like you see in the picture, it's down in the soil. And what we see on the surface of the skin is actually the green leafy part is your hair, okay? So go with me for a moment. If this is your, if this is your hair that's coming outside of the follicle, like outside of the, the garden, the soil, we actually wax, as you know, with hot resin, we put that over the surface of the skin, it shrink wraps the green leafy part, and rips that carrot out against the direction of hair growth. So what you risk is pulling out that carrot and snapping it at any point down the way. You may get the whole carrot out, but you might not. So that's when we have ingrown start and, and difficulty with um, infection in the follicles, things like that. With, sh with shaving, we actually shave off the green leafy part. So in just a little bit, you'll get the little five o'clock shadow. But with sugar, we actually go the opposite direction. So we mold the sugar, and I'll show you that in just a minute. We mold the sugar over the skin. It's at room temperature. It's not hot. It'll never burn you. And we roll that over the skin three times. That's called mold. It, the first pass has, when we roll it, makes the sugar, the hair stand up. The second pass packs that sugar down and lubricates the follicle and wraps around this carrot. And the third part, the third pass packs it down even more. We call that seeping, where it just seeps down and wraps around this carrot. And when we go to flick the sugar off, it slides the carrot out with the direction of hair growth. So you can imagine if we pull that whole carrot out of the soil in the picture, it's actually removing the whole carrot all the way down to the bottom where the bulb is at. So we slide that whole carrot out in the direction that it grows the soil kind of crumbles down or the follicle just gets weaker. And so every time that follicle starts to grow back or that carrot grows back again, it just gets thinner and thinner. So I get to this next one here. This is perfectly straight out of a textbook for you to understand for those of you that are straight out of school. As you can see, we can extract that whole hair. Oh, I love pic taking pictures. I geek out on stuff like this. But we can extract that whole hair, as you can see that close-up of sugar, the sugar ball with hair in it, all the way down to the dermal papilla. So we get that whole bulb and extract it. So the more we do this, it actually causes the hair to get thinner and thinner and leads to more permanency of hair, of hair removal. So this is the mold and flick. We actually put it on with a gloved hand. We slide the sugar over the skin, remember over those little carrots, 
And there's definitely a proper way with which to do this. This is an improper way. You'll see people, uh, I see some people, it makes me cringe on Instagram when they're wiping the sugar on the skin. There's definitely an art and a technique behind it, which is why we wanna make sure that you're certified. And we'll talk about that in a moment as well. But this is the proper way is to have your hand perpendicular to the skin. We're just guiding that sugar super, super light and taking the sugar off in a 45 degree angle. It looks very slow here for demonstration purposes, but I can do that whole half a leg, both half, both sides, actually both legs in about, I'm gonna drop my wrist and flick, drop my wrist and flick, and that's it. But I can do both of those legs in about 15 minutes. And so it's great turnaround time. So I'm probably one of the only people that has a carrot in their treatment room, estheticians that has a carrot in their treatment room. Hopefully, Tiffany, you've gotten one. Um, but also, I um, tend to run around and take pictures of produce in the grocery store. And <laughs> what I'll tell you is, if we sugar regularly, we remove that whole hair. So I, I lined up these onions for you so you can understand. So sugar, the hair actually starts on the left like an onion. There's a bulb and a stalk, like you saw in that picture of the anatomy of the hair follicle, right? The more we slide out that onion or that carrot, it actually will, again, cause that hair follicle to get weaker and it becomes more of a scallion. So every time we slide out that hair from here on out, every four or five weeks, the hair just gets weaker and it just slides out easier. So that is the best way that I was able to build my business because think about it. If someone needs to come in every four to five weeks for an appointment that takes you about 15 minutes, it's great money to rebuild your business and really provide a solid foundation, right? So with a facial, someone might come in, maybe they were coming in once a month before um, the recession hits or COVID hits. Now they're not coming in at all. I got to tell you, the second I was able to open back up for the short period that we were in California, all of my clients came back and were dying to get in. My facial clients, not so much. Everybody's kind of holding off on the facial services, but my sugar clients, they were back in action and they're ready to go. And they are waiting for me. We're locked down again, unless we can sugar outside here in California. Um, but my clients are like pounding at the door for the second the governor releases us out of lockdown. So sugaring really has been that gateway service that the more people do it, they get less hair growth, they get their, you know, less ingrowns and, and I have extremely happy clients. So my clients like to stay on a schedule because they know the, the onion analogy. They understand that the, the more frequently they come in, the less hair that grows back and the less that it hurts. So I, I put these uh, five-star reviews on here, not to tout, you know, to toot my horn, but to really help you, help you to understand that I don't advertise. I said that I don't advertise. And in these times, I put stuff on Instagram for fun just because, you know, people like to see our face and see the sugar and such. But these clients, as soon as I learned how to sugar, I realized that they go tell three friends and they go tell three friends. And it becomes this word of mouth movement where people are sharing the secret. I don't ask for these five-star reviews. I don't give people a reward if they Yelp us, if they jump online Facebook and give a review. I don't reward any of that. So every time Yelp says, you have a business review, I open it up and they're all glowing like this. Sure, I have a fun, sparkly personality. I get that. But my clients are so grateful that I have stopped waxing and that I have started sugaring. They want to share it with their friends. And truly, when I went from just a few facial clients that I was hoping would come back, like every month, two months, I would sell them some skincare. I found that sugar clients, which a lot of times they're the same client, but the sugar, the need for sugar is so great that they're going to tell all their friends and they're going to come every four weeks. So I was able to build that foundation in the recession and it, it made a, a huge world of difference. So all of these things are coming up. Let's walk through them one by one. Super, 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 super simple. So a couple of things. First of all, before all of this, I want to tell you, if you have the ability in your area, I want you to go get sugared. 
because I want you to experience what your clients will be experiencing. I want you to, if you're near me in Sacramento, if you're down in Burlingame near uh, C and, and uh, Farhana in Burlingame, come on up and see me in Sacramento. Um, we'll slide you in. Governor's just about ready to open us up. So we'll slide you in and get you sugared. I know there are people that sugar in Burlingame and San Francisco and in the Bay Area. And in San Diego, someone's on there in Colorado Springs, get sugared and feel the difference. And right now we have partnered with Alexander's because we want to spread that passion. We want to spread the word about sugar. And so we've partnered with them because iSugar University is my online program where you can get trained with our partnership and you'll actually receive a kit. And, and uh, Tiffany will talk about that in a moment. You'll receive a kit that's got all your Sugar of the Now products in it. And you can be practicing with our online certification uh, with the Sugar of the Now products, which is awesome. And what I absolutely love, if you've seen me on a webinar before with these guys, what I absolutely love about Alexander's besides their sparkling, amazing selves is that you can get everything you need right from them. So if you want to get a couple of sticks to get that perfection down in the eyebrow, if you want to get gloves, if you need four by fours to put pre and post product on, if you need a sugar mat, anything you need, they have it. We're going to go over that in just a moment, but they have everything you need. It's a one-stop shop. So once you learn, you've gotten sugared, you grab your supplies. Once you learn, I just want you to practice on everyone you can get your hands on. And we are here for you every step of the way. You're going to complete an online exam because what's a training program if you don't, if you can't test your knowledge, right? And it's really just to help you understand how much you've learned. It's about theory and technique. You learn about room setup, things like that. And then you'll just submit three videos to us. Super simple. You have your significant other take a video of you sugaring. There's no judgment. It's really just to make sure that we can help you perfect your skills. We have a sugar show podcast where you can learn all kinds of stuff about how to be an amazing esthetician and sugaring professional. You can join the Facebook community, which is uh, the, the Sugar Tribe Facebook community, or the free community is Love to Sugar. That's our page, so jump on there. And then when we are able to get back to hands-on training, we will be doing training out of the Alexander's Aesthetics um, training facilities, which are, um, I cannot wait to get back in that treatment facility, Tiffany. Um, and let's book those clients together. Let me help you and let Tiffany and the staff there help you build this business. We are in no way saying don't do facials anymore, but right now some states can, some states can't. I know we can't do facials where we're at. We're at. Tiffany's grounded as well. So you can be practicing some of these new skills and come back to your clients and say, hey, I've been practicing in this lockdown. I've been practicing sugar. I'd like to share it with you. And I am promising you that those people who get facials once a month or once a quarter, they will be coming back in between to get their brows done or their chin done or their bikini done, hands down. It is the gateway for your clients to come back to you because if they did lose their job or they are concerned, I can do sugar with a mask on. I can sugar their eyebrows. I can sugar their bikini. They're both wearing masks. Sugar is safe. It's not going to burn them. It's not a traumatic experience that they are going to fear. They're actually going to welcome it because they'll feel smooth. They'll jump off the table happy. And I actually sell more retail now that I added sugar because I can sell them sugar retail. We'll talk about that in a moment, but I can also sell them facial retail, even though I can't do a facial on them yet. Okay. So if you have someone that's coming in every month to get their brows done, Take a look at their skin and say, hey, what's going on for you? When we're able to do facials again or the next visit, you know, let's go ahead and, and, and give you a facial. Or here's home care that I recommend. Or you're going on vacation. Here's some sunscreen that I recommend. And it's all right there at your fingertips while you're sugaring them. So this is, and Tiffany, I'm going to have you chat about the uh, basic kit and the comprehensive kit. What I love about sugaring is one of the many things I love about sugaring is <laughs> <laughs> right. But one of the things I really, really enjoy and appreciate is that it doesn't take much. Okay. This bottle of skin cleanser will literally last you a year. I mean, you need a little, a little goes a long way. So when you get these kits, you're getting everything you need for a while. 
And I do not need to buy a lot of product. It's literally a cleanser, a powder, a finishing cream, sugar, and gloves. Now, can you get ingrown serum? Yes. Can you get other things? Yes. But just to start, that's all you need is the basics. All you need is to get started. So Tiffany, talk a little bit about the kits and what's inside of those. Yeah, so we've got a couple of different kits for you. The basic kit has a box of gloves. Uh, gloves are really, obviously, they're really important anyway, but with paste, you have to have nitrile. Nitrile gloves are what will actually allow you uh, to stick, the paste to stick to your hand. Yep. Um, nitrile gloves are, and they have to be nice and snug as well. They have to be super tight. Otherwise the glove itself will, will pull off. So you'll get, by the way, I have big girl hands gloves. and I use an extra small, I have big, big hands, yep. but I like, they need to be tight. The nice thing with nitrile too, is they're flexible and they're a little more stretchy. So you'll, it's easier for you to get larger hands and tiny, tiny gloves. Um, so Shan's got some paste there. We've got gloves, the paste, that is a container of the paste, obviously, the cleanser and the powder. Now, like Shannon said that cleanser and powder, it's gonna take you at least a year, if not longer, to go through those two items. You will probably go through gloves and paste more so in the very beginning based on practice. But if you look at the tiny ball that Shannon has in her hand right now, you can do a lot of practice with that just small ball. I'm all about, like Shannon said, you sit on the couch, pick your poison for whatever TV show. I personally am watching Psych because it's funny right now. Um, oh, we'll have to watch that one. It it's funny. So if you pick your poison and you can sit on your couch and you can sugar your own legs. It's not necessarily always easy in the very beginning, but legs is great. But that little tiny ball will go a good, a very good way. Right, so we've got the basic kit. Now the comprehensive kit is great if you would like to, if you know that we're gonna be gung-ho and we want to have this in our room. So the comprehensive one adds the after spray and the ingrown exit serum and uh, warmer as well, and your paste. So you have all the other fun goodies that Sugar of Denial carries also. Mm -hmm. um, you don't necessarily have to have the comprehensive kit just to be totally honest because you need the warmer just to get the paste out. But the paste that you get in the beginning, you can actually pretty much kind of get it out on your own. It's semi warm enough here in California. Uh, sometimes I'll put my paste outside or I'll have it in my, um, if I'm showering, I'll put it in my bathroom so that the warm steam from the shower just softens it up just enough. You just need it warm enough to get it out of the container. But you don't let's talk about the warmer for just a second, Tiffany, because I think it's really critical for people yeah. to understand that, that there is no heat. So it seems right. counterintuitive to need a warmer, right? What the warmer does, right. it's actually a sugar warmer and it is different than a wax warmer. So sugar warmers actually right. heat the whole way, but what they do is they heat at a lower temperature. So the low, the very first setting, I never go above that unless I, I need to bump it up for a quick second if the room's been really cold but that warmer will actually keep that sugar at room temperature. In fact, I can put my hand inside the warmer and if somebody's fearful of getting burned, if they've been burned before, you can say, you know what, this will never burn you. Put your hand inside this warmer, which you will never do with the wax warmer, right? Because even on the no. lowest setting of a wax warmer, it's too hot for sugar. So, yeah, so don't, I, we get that question a lot. Can I put the paste in my wax warmer? I've done it just to like see what happens. Don't do it. <laughs> well, it just it makes it too hot. It will turn into liquid. Yeah. Yeah. And then you're not going to be able to utilize the paste. So the there is a reason why there is an actual sugar warmer. Um, I'm not a good liar. So if we didn't need that warmer, I would tell you. But that is, I have three warmers, to be honest, in my treatment room. I am in my office. So I do have three little warmers in my treatment room for the different pastes that we have um, yep. just so that I can again, get them out. Cause it's about two degrees in my office most of the time. <laughs> yeah. And this little ball of paste that I have here, this will, I can sugar a whole face with this and you, you yep. literally go over the skin. You, when you go to flick it off, you use that same ball of paste and you can do whole hand, whole arm. You know, I switch balls in between body parts. 
but you can literally use this tiny little ball of paste to do the whole face ears. I do noses last, but uh, you can do the whole face, yeah. which is this little, little ball of sugar. That's it. And then when you're finished, you just take that nitro glove and this is all the garbage that you have. That's it. So I have a tiny little garbage can in my room. I sugar 20 Brazilians a day. This is all the garbage I have. So it's better for the environment. It's less sticks and strips. It's which, sorry, I know you guys sell sticks and strips. So, <laughs> but sugar, war, sugar uh, people, are, still, guys. sugar yeah. people are very happy that we don't have to use all that stuff. <laughs> you wipe it down. You're able to sanitize. And by the way, Alexander's has amazing sanitization and disinfection products as well. So you can literally wipe down that sugar mat. And actually, if we go to the next slide, oh, I should have, there we go. Here's some of the yeah, things that yeah, you can right, get, especially right now. So my favorite color is the navy blue, um, but you can get like a tan. I didn't know you had tan actually, and light blue. We so we just got those. Mm -hmm. awesome. So you, I actually put that on top of my treatment table. That way nothing seeps down onto the pretty sheets and comforter and that kind of thing, especially now with um, all of our special procedures we need to be doing. Some people are having to remove some of that bedding. You can just go ahead and use this mat, wipe it down with water and a washcloth, sanitize, wait, and then disinfect. And the mat is a quick turnaround for the next client. Um, as well, you can get the Inbe Gone. I retail this out the door because it's just going to keep that skin hydrated and keep the skin exfoliated in between appointments. You want to talk about the Hale and Hush duo? No, it's or your I favorite. Can. There's more excitement. It is my favorite. <laughs> it is my favorite. Actually, um, I have to tell you that if you do nothing else today, get on and get some Hale and Hush because yeah. their hy Hush Hydrate Gel with the Relief Bio Powder combo, I take just a little bit of that and anyone that tends to get red, especially like redheads, doesn't matter what you do, you touch them and they're going to get red. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you use a little bit, I'll pat the powder directly neat onto the skin and then go ahead and put that, that um, Hush Hydrate Gel over or I'll just blend it together with a little fan brush and paint it over the skin. I am not kidding you. If you do nothing else today, get that duo because it will help with any sort of inflammation, redness. It'll take all of that out like instantly on um, if you're waxing, sugaring, doing facials, it's amazing, like a must have in the treatment room for sure. Um, Absolutely. And, yeah, and for sure, like, we get, there's less pain and less irritation with sugaring because again, it's not hot, won't burn you. We're not snapping the hairs off against the direction of hair growth, but people just tend to get pink. And so you can put this duo on them and send them back to work and they're not, got, they don't have the big glaring, you know, I just got sugared or I just got waxed <laughs> eyebrows, right? Which is great. So I love that. And then this handheld trimmer is key because I don't trim inside the treatment room great retail product because you can get them to trim at home before they come in, especially if they have been in COVID lockdown. Let me tell you, we have gotten some <laughs> overgrown hoo-ha yeah. in my place. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and that's a great, yep. great Absolutely. trimmer for sure. Yeah. The um, okay. Relief Bio Powder and Hush Hydrate is also a good retail combo. Um, if they have mask me, if they have any of the breakouts, that is a great way to help with any of that, uh, especially true. now that everyone's extra stressed and all of that too. So, um, that is, it, it's definitely a house favorite at Alexander's in my own retail, in my own shop here. Um, I'm, that's what I tend to push. Yeah, for sure. So one of the things that, you know, before we got talking about like the resources and stuff, one of the things that I really want to make sure that you understand besides how much we love the Hale and Hush duo and sugar is this time right now is about how you pivot. And it's about what you are going to do for your client to provide them as much as you possibly can without inundating them, but really helping them to understand like, Hey, while I was in lockdown, I learned how to do this amazing new service. Let me share this with you. Instant client four weeks later, instead of, well, let me see what the budgets look like, or not quite sure what it's going to look like, you know, in four weeks. So I'll hold off to do my appointment, right? 
Not so with sugar clients. Those folks want to get on your books every four weeks. They want to purchase product from you. They want to continue to support you. And it's just a beautiful way to get your business and back up on its feet outside of these crazy times quickly and efficiently and reliably, to be honest. And it's been a while, honestly, since um, since I've stared at the ceiling and wondered how I was going to get this all done. It's It's been a while. I will tell you this COVID has me stumped in lots of ways, but wondering if my clients are going to back, come back is not one of them. No, so we are not. here. Yeah, we are here for you, Tiffany and, and the team at Alexander's. We have a sugar tribe. We have a free online group to help you with that. We have master classes. We have coaching. If you're someone that's nodding your head, you're like, Shan, I already do this. I just want to learn about sugar of the Nile. Um, we have marketing classes and business classes. We just had the podcast come out that had, that's the sugar show podcast. Um, you can ask your Alexa to play the sugar show and the music comes on. It's pretty fabulous. Um, we just did an episode with uh, C and Wendy that was amazing. They're really good to interview on the show, by the way. Um, but we're all They're about amazing. making sure that you are the most successful esthetician that you possibly can be. That's what this is about. That's why Farhana and, and C and Wendy and Tiffany and the whole team and myself, that's why we put these webinars on. I mean, they're bringing Dave Wagner from SkinScript. That guy is like got more knowledge bombs that come out of his mouth. Like he is amazing, you know, and, and, and these, these, you know, courses about peels and facials like this to me is the time to pivot your business and really, really learn about how you can bring your clients back in for things that they didn't even really know they needed, you know, because yeah. it's our time to make sure that we are as sharp as we possibly can be, because that's how we're going to survive. And to be honest, the recession is here and it's going to be here for a little bit. Things are going to look weird in the next year or two, even more weird than they are now, because we're trying to figure it all out. Right. But at the end of the day, it's, it's all about doing these coffee talks, being on these webinars, learning a new skill like sugaring and making sure that you align yourself with people like Alexander's that can really take your business to the next level. I, when I first had that spa I was telling you about in Tahoe back in the day, I actually was an Alexander's client. I used to um, order DDF from them and I used <laughs> to get my wax from them and I've known C for forever and they have that is what I look for in a company is someone who's going to bring me products that they have already figured out are the best. And they have partnered with, for me, one of the top sugar lines for sure is sugar of the Nile. And they have partnered with a company that I can stand behind and say, you know what, this is about, this is a valid, solid product. And I'm really, really glad that they didn't bring on just anybody, you know? So now we're going to take some questions. Let her rip. If you want to get off, if you want to take me off of the presenter thing, then that way I can see everybody sort of <laughs> see you anyway. Well, you'll only get to really see me. Yeah. <laughs> but I love okay. seeing you. So, All right. Now, if you guys have figured um, out I got for you guys today, Tiffany and I are not shy. So ask your questions, peeps. You have us live. Ask your questions. True story. Okay. Um, so we have got let me get back to the questions my friends so that you're not just staring at our faces there we go okay no oh, that's not what i wanted okay we've got a couple of questions here let me just get back to this is the funny part leave. that they do saturday night live skits about tiffany where people are looking at the screen like this <laughs> for I, I to figure it out. <laughs> okay this is the craziest is time all right i know well and i mean as estheticians i'm proud of myself for having figured out a computer in general <laughs> right <laughs> all right <laughs> so miss sarah miss sarah bolton we have your question here is i'm guessing that sugaring is more sustainable than waxing since yep. the ingredients are just lemon, sugar, and water. Yep. You got it. You can eat it. In fact, here's a little trick for you. 
when you, so oh. <laughs> it, it depends on where you are, but in, in our place right now, kids don't come in with their parents, but when they did and when they will again, I will actually take a, a, a popsicle stick a craft stick and I'll put a little sugar on the end of it, obviously with the parent's permission and I'll hand it to the child and they sit and it's like a lollipop. They just sit and nibble on that and it's sticky and kind of sticks their teeth together. And they're all kinds of quiet. Why I can sugar mom. <laughs> you wouldn't do that with wax. No, I wouldn't eat my wax. We do have great no. waxes. Yes, but no, you, it's definitely um, sugaring and sugar itself is pure. The one that we have is only sugar, water, and lemon. There are definitely other formulas out there. Sugar of the Nile is one of the ones that is only sugar, water, and lemon. So good question, Sarah. Miss Maggie has a wonderful question. This is a great question. Is there only one kind of sugar for the whole body? If not, what do you recommend for beginners? Okay, so in the kit, you're gonna get the island paste because it's the easiest for you to manipulate. But the better that you get, you will find that there are a few other formulas. I use a softer paste for larger body parts because I can, the the consistency is a little, um, it's, a, it's a little softer. So you can actually pull that sugar over a larger area like a back or a leg. And then if you tend to have warmer hands or a warmer room, um, you're in the south, things like that, then you can use a firmer paste and you can blend them together. But the firmer paste will actually hold up in your hand a little bit better if you tend to be someone who would warm it up. Because remember, it's just lemon, sugar, and water. So the heat from your hand and the heat from your client's body tend to soften the sugar in general. And you can mix those in between. But for a beginner, Island is perfect for you. Yeah, that's a great question. You'll also figure out which paste is best for you, your room, your clients, right? For sure. And that's like with any other product, right? So keep in mind, there's the learning curve with sugaring. And I think we forget about that a little bit, but there is still a learning curve and you wanna make sure that you take the time to learn. And I know that we get frustrated, especially if we're already good at something. We're like, why, why is this not, why am I not immediately amazing? But you will be, I promise. It took I wanted to throw a while. That, yeah, I wanted to throw that sugar ball out the window so many times when I was first practicing. Oh, yeah. I'm like, I'm a smart yeah, girl. Absolutely. I was valedictorian of my class. How the heck can I not do this? <laughs> and then it, it just clicks. It does. It really does. Yeah. Um, all right. We have another question. Shannon, this one uh, is, is going to be for you. I am going to apologize because I hope that I don't say your name so wrong. Um, Prapuna Manu Men. Menu guy. I hope I said that at least close. I'm so sorry. Um, the question is, and she in uh, uh, hi, I enrolled in sugaring basic certified program. And I didn't receive any sugaring paste for practice. I'm wondering if I have to purchase the product. Can you please help me with this? Yep. So what happens is when you enroll in the program, you'll get a an immediate response email that gives you the link to order the paste. If you have any questions, you can contact Alexander's directly, or you can contact um, admissions at iSugar University, which is on your email, and we can track it down for you. So it's probably just that you didn't catch that second email, which just says, yay, you're in, and it has a link to where you buy the kits. Get that sugar. Yeah. Um, oh, this is a good one. So sorry, I did not say this earlier. This is my bad. This is why Wendy is way better at this than I am. Will we get a copy of the presentation? There's actually in your handouts, you can download it. Yeah, in the little handout section, um, click on that. You can download the information there. Good mm -hmm. question. Uh, Miss Judy, thank you, Sugar Mama. This was great. Uh, we did not do a demo. The, there is a demo. Let me actually go back to it for you, Judy. Um, there's just a small, short little how-to-ish, but there, we didn't do a large demo. Didn't you do one with Wendy? You did one, didn't you? Uh, we, we don't have anything posted because we just gotcha. put it together. So Judy, I'm gonna go ahead and play this for you while we go back through. 
The other thing, Judy, uh, is join the Love to Sugar community. It's love, the number two, and sugar, love to sugar community. It's free, and we have all kinds of, of demos. We're working with the products. Um, we have all kinds of tips and tricks and things um, to really support you in your journey. So go to love to sugar.com or the Facebook page. Um, if you're not into Facebook, which people aren't sometimes, um, you can just go to love to sugar.com and we have all kinds of demos in there for you. Yeah, that's a great um, thing. Sarah Bolton, we don't actually have a directory for sugar. I don't, we don't at Alexander's. I know we can figure out who gets paste from us, but Shannon, do you have a directory of any certified sugarists by area by chance? You can actually contact me because we are working on one. Ah, beautiful. Love it. Nice question. Sarah has another question. This is a good question, Sarah. How much do the kiss kits cost? Um, I honestly have to look that up for you <laughs> because they don't work in the office. I bet you Miss Maggie will get me that information quickly because she is so good at that. But if you go to our website, um, our Alexander's website, uh, all the information is there as well. Super reasonable. Um, when I learned back in the day, yeah. it was $900 for me to get educated and I couldn't even take sugar off someone's leg. It was $900. And the online program, um, if you go through Alexander's is only $127 and then you buy the kit and the kits, it makes the whole thing about $200. I mean, it's really not much and you have product and you have time and we're here for you like the in to eternity. So you have support up the wazoo yeah. between all of us. We try. I'm yeah. all about stalkers. I know Shannon is, is as well. That's part of our job. And to be honest, I've got so much more time because I unfortunately am still um, grounded. Like Shannon said, I like that term, by the way. I think that makes me feel pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> um, Anne has a question. This is a good question. How Ooh. long did it take you to get over the learning curve to keep going with sugar? Good question. That's um, a great question. Go ahead. You tell yours. Well, I, it, you know what? I, I don't know if I have a good timeline. I'm going to tell you it took me a good year to be really comfortable. What I did when I was practicing is any client that came in for their regular waxing, I was like, hey, I learned this new skill. I would like to show it to you and mm -hmm. I would sugar half of whatever body part we were doing with I'd sugar half and I'd still wax the other half that way I could keep my time necessarily but it gave me the ability to practice um but it took me a good honestly a, a year to be really comfortable and solid the way that I feel like I do when I'm waxing um and every now and then I still feel a little nervous, but that's just because I get, uh, honestly, it's not doing it very often. I and mean, everything makes me nervous again. <laughs> but right. when I was, I was able to open for that one month. And I will tell you right now, that one month that I was open, my books immediately were slammed with sugaring. Yep. I mean, every new client I had, I don't, I can't tell you how many new clients I had. I had a lot, which was crazy to me, but they were all for sugaring, all of them. Yeah. Because yeah. um, most people were like, hey, everyone's closed. Nobody sugars. I can't find anyone. Da, 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 da. Here I was. So, um, but it does, it does take you a while. And, and again, this is one of those, all of my clients were super stoked to be a guinea pig. And to be honest, they all are aware that they're guinea pigs most of the time for me anyway. And when I am waxing, because that's mainly what I teach and we carry a lot of different wax brands. So guess who gets to be worked on them is my clients and they're pretty used to it. So being, being a guinea pig to help me learn how to sugar a little better, everyone was very much on board with it. Plus they were like, oh, I want to learn something new. So, um, so yeah, that, that's, that's, you know, I will say That's my experience I was, I will say my experience was I was really, really, really bad when I came out of my two day training. And so I kind of like you would just like dabble in the sugar, but keep waxing and dabble in the sugar, but keep waxing. And then in the recession, it was super important for me to just take off the training wheels because I knew that this was different and I just had to get better at it. I was really nervous about, around brows at first because I have these 
giant hands and I didn't want to, you know, have to put my finger up in that eyebrow and screw it up. <laughs> and um, it wasn't until I literally unplugged the wax pot and put it away and made myself learn. Again, I didn't have videos back then. So, which is why I started iSugar University was because I didn't have it myself. And so I can honestly say that when I put the wax down and just made myself sugar and sugar every friend I could get my hand on, hands on, it took me a few weeks and then it took me a few months to get good. So in a few weeks, I was like, pretty okay. But if I got stuck, I would kind of panic a little bit. And then it took me a few months to get to a place where I can, I can sugar people standing up, sitting down in a wheelchair, yeah. you know, it doesn't matter. So it takes a little bit of time, but it's, and it's job security, right? I mean, I can go anywhere to any salon or spa and say, Hey, I sugar, do you want to offer it? And they're like, yes, please job, you know, yep, definitely. Yeah. Uh, we have another good question here. What is the best time to join the sugar tribe after completing the certification? Um, I would say it depends on the kind of learner you are. So if you're someone who really has to take the time walking through the steps and I would say process basic certification first, now to let you know, you have to be certified in order to place your order. So you have to show your certification. So it's really critical that you get certified. So if you're someone that really needs to take your time going through the steps, just get certified. That's plenty. And then you can join the tribe. If you're someone who like that kit comes in the mail and you want it all join the tribe get in there we have we have brazilian classes and coaching sessions once a month and we have actually i mean you we unbox the sugar of the nile on there so you can see me playing with it um we basically have everything you could possibly desire so if you're someone that likes it all jump into the tribe for sure it's a good community just to have your a lot of it, just help right so i mean yeah. i would say join sooner just sooner than later, just to, yeah. again, give you that edge that will help you. I'm yeah. all about. Yeah. And you guys, I mean, these, <laughs> the educators will jump in. And if you're like, Hey, I'm struggling with this, they'll jump in and give you some help. It's not just me. It's like this tribe of amazing sugar humans that are just all there to help you. So it's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, oh, so I have the answer for the pricing because Maggie's awesome. $70 for the basic kit, two, excuse me, 231 for the comprehensive kit, so the larger kit, and then the paste itself is just is $34 normally. Okay, mm -hmm. so hopefully that helps. We yep. got one last one here. Judy, this is a good one. What happens at first that makes it so hard? A new skill is hard to learn, I think. And mm -hmm. because sugaring is legitimately the opposite <laughs> thought process completely of waxing and we are taught to wax in school that's what we're used to doing yep. uh, right i've been waxing for you know more than 20 years i've only been sugaring for i think five or six at this point but learning a new skill and getting your brain to be on board with it i think is honestly the first challenge it's for sure. overcoming your own you got to get out of your own way i think right yeah. you just got to say move your ego aside i know you're good at this but now we're going to get good at this and I think honestly, that is what makes sugaring a little bit more difficult in the beginning. If you, in your own, you get in your own head, I think. I, yeah. I did, I was very frustrated yeah. in the beginning. Cause again, I was like, ah, I could wax this faster. Well, duh, of course I can, I've been doing it forever. Right. But now I can sugar it just as fast. So again, it's just you knowing this isn't gonna be necessarily all that easy in the very beginning. And it's really just practice. It's it's you learning. I mean, it's it's like doing a facial too. Remember the first time you did a cleanse on someone? It took you 45 minutes because you were like, here's the one, two, three, right? You have to do counting, all of that. It took you a while. Yeah. After after a little, you know, after you've done a few, you were like, Oh, I got this. I I muscle memory, I've got it. It's gonna be the same thing with sugaring. For sure. I'm proud of you, Tiff. I remember when you really didn't know how to sugar, and now you're like the oh, dynamo. Yeah. I love it. Um, oh, this is a good question. Uh, Julia, this is the last one we've got right now. I've never done Brazilians. Totally fine, Julia. Is that something that's covered in the certification course? And do you go over 
what we can charge for the different body parts? Awesome questions. Okay, so a couple things. First, let me start out by telling you that if you would have told me back in the day that I'd be the queen of the hoo-ha, I'd have told you, have another cocktail because I don't do that. <laughs> I, yeah, no, I was a facial girl. I did some brows, like that was it. And then I really like started to look at the numbers and went, you know what, if I can get over this, I mean, it's maintenance takes me 10, 15 minutes a client and it's 50 bucks. And with tip, usually I get about 50, 60 bucks every 20 minutes. That's good money. That's not worried about the recession money right there. And I got good at it real fast. I practiced and practiced, God bless my models, but I practiced and practiced and practiced. And so certification is really for getting down the mold and flick. And it sounds funny, but even just taking it out of the jar at first is a skill you have to master because it's yeah. goopy sugar, right? You have to figure out how to do it. Once you get that, it's the mold and the flick are really, you have to get the basics down before you move on. So certification is, is the different body parts that are basic. So brows, lip, chin, uh, backs, legs, arms, basic bikini. Once you master those, we certify you. Then in the sugar tribe, you have access to everything. So we have Brazilian class, pregnant bellies, men's chests, you know, things like that, that are more difficult. And that's part of the tribe. And there's not a, you know, no, restrictions in applying or any of that stuff. So it's really easy. You can, uh, you can sign in, watch as many classes as you like, keep it as a resource or, you know, go about your merry way and you can cancel at any time. So, um, so the Brazilians are in the advanced courses and I have coaching sessions with troubleshooting, uh, positions, things like that, um, to really help you along the way. And it's just 57 a month. So it's the cost of one Brazilian, you know, to get yeah. basically all yeah. the advanced training, which is really, really cool. So no, basic certification is just that. It's getting you to, um, to be able to do the mold and flick. We certify you in that, and then you go do your hands-on training wherever, or watch the online videos on the tribe. Pricing is always going to be based on where oh, you pricing. are. So I, I don't, my prices for sugaring Brazilians is $70. That's my I, I'm really between 70 and 85. I have a sliding scale because uh, I do trim my clients here in my office. So if I have to do that, I charge more. I also don't accept tips, which is also why my prices are higher. I'm also mm -hmm. on the peninsula, which is where still, thankfully, people, um, I'm in the middle of all of the dot com stuff still. So I can charge those and people don't yeah. say anything about it. Right. So pricing is always going to be really based on where you are and your comfort. Um, Brazilians, I also, I, I feel this way in general about any hair removal. Like Shannon said, get the basics down, throw the Brazilian in there when you're ready. Don't feel like you have to come out the gate with that because that's going to scare you probably in the beginning. Yeah. And we, you want to have the confidence with the paste, with the body, before we just jump into one of the more challenging areas. Once you get it, it's going to be super easy, but sure. you definitely want to get all the other parts down first. For sure. So, Great yeah. point. All right. Well, all of my friends, thank you guys so very much for joining us. We at Alexander's appreciate you spending your time with us. Um, I love being able to put makeup on and at least I only get, I don't get to see you guys, which makes me sad. But at least I got to see Shannon, which was so Yay. great too. So thank you so much, Shannon, for spending your time with us today. Um, if any of you guys have questions, definitely shoot Alexander's. Call us, write it in the sky. If you need Shannon, do the same for her. She's all about it. Because um, again, we are all about team playing and we want you to be successful and we are here to help you. Um, we also, if you guys... Um, want to see anything that Alexander's has done prior on our website, you can go to education, all of our previous webinars. We've done actually a ton since lockdown started out um, all the way back in March, which we were, you know, we tried to stay involved since then. Um, but we've got a lot of webinars up there too. So there's all sorts of information floating around. So hopefully we see you in your careers and hopefully we can help everyone out.
So thanks and for joining us, guys. To seeing you in the hands-on classes as soon as we can. Yay! <laughs> well, have a beautiful Tuesday, everyone, and we hope to see everyone soon. Bye.